Welcome back to my channel. My name is Deidre and today I have another fun video for you as you read by the title. Today I am showing you how I like to put together my charcuterie boards. Okay. All right. And we're just going to get straight into it because y'all know I love to talk. Tip number one is pretty basic, but I feel like it's something that should be mentioned. You should be taking advantage of other people's creativity, right? That's exactly why they share the content that they do. When I know I want to do a beautiful charcuterie board or a picnic of some sort, I usually go to Pinterest. It's my number one stop to figuring out how I want to place it. Like I just love looking at other people's creativity and, and their inspiration and just making it my own or doing exactly what I've seen. I like to start with Pinterest. I know a lot of people go through TikTok. I did see amazing TikToks on how to make a dope charcuterie board. I've watched a number of YouTube videos too, but this was like over time because I really got into this last year. Um, while everybody was on quarantine, girl, I was a little bored and this is what we decided to do. So anyways, um, I like to just get inspiration from a ton of different people. Now, tip number two that I have as far as getting this charcuterie board together. Now, I haven't really seen too many people talk about this, but definitely know the amount of people that you are looking to serve. Um, for me, it's going to be two of my good, good Judy's that live really close to me and we oftentimes get together for moments like this. The reason why I feel like this is so important is because I have a friend that is allergic to a number of fruits. It's important to kind of pick people's brains and just see like who's allergic to what, who can't eat what, and it just kind of save you money too when you're going grocery shopping, especially if you know you can't pick up everything, right? But not only that, but knowing the amount, wow, my earrings, wow, wow. But not only that, having the amount of people that you're looking to serve in mind is going to also just help you not overspend. And you can kind of like go to certain places, which I'll get into in just a second, to get everything that you need so you're not breaking your bank, girl. Right, I got a tip for that. Know the people that are coming, know what they can eat. Um, if you have someone that is allergic to certain things and they just, they can be around it but they can't touch it and the food that they eat cannot be touching it, um, then you would be able to know how you can lay your table, your board out. Um, and again, we'll get into that a little bit later when I get to showing you guys the food that I like to put on my table, on my board. Okay, so then tip number three, again, is another pretty obvious one. You need to have the the tools. You got to have different boards and different, I don't know, what's the technical term for these? Like, are they, are they cutting boards? I don't use them for cutting boards. They just cheese boards? I think that sounds about right. Have a number of cheese boards on deck, which, again, I've been collecting these things now for the past year. So I feel like I have a pretty good start for my condition. I mean, it's just me in a one bedroom. So <laughs> the amount of stuff that I've accumulated over time is like, girl, what do you need all that for? But nevertheless, here we are. If I see something that is just super cute in a store, like if I'm going to Home Goods or something, you know how I do those videos for you guys? If I'm stopping at Home Goods and I see something that's like really, really cute, I'm going to pick it up because I can guarantee you I'm going to use it for projects or for a board or for a picnic that's just you know so I just say pick up the cute stuff because especially if you go into a place like home goods you probably won't see the same things again so definitely get a collection I'm gonna show you guys if I don't already have b-roll of the table as it stands I put this stuff together two nights ago because I was that excited to do this but you guys can see in the footage like I've collected a number oops so as you guys can see, I've like collected a number of items to use. I think my favorite one on this table is my little D. Because my name is Deidre, like duh. duh. Okay, so once you have your boards, you know exactly what you want to lay your food out on. I think the next important step is to getting some of these cheese board utensils that I got in a set. 
get into them. Now, what are these pieces for? I know this one like picks some stuff out. <laughs> this one, I guess you can like cut and spread your cheeses. And this one also is a knife that you can use. And this one has a sharp edge on it too. So definitely pick up all of the tools that you're gonna need for your charcuterie board to be functional. Um, and I cannot remember where I got these. I wanna say, I wanna say I got these from Home Goods and they were super affordable. It might have been maybe five dollars. Um, another fun one that I picked up is this little honey, whatever you call it. I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know the name of this thing, but I knew I wanted one. Ooh, I knew I wanted one. So I had to pick one up because I feel like it's just going to really elevate my charcuterie board. This is the first time this is the biggest one that I've done. And, it, and some of you guys are like thinking, girl, it's, it's not that big. But this is the biggest one that I've done where I'm doing multiple trays in one sitting. So <laughs> shout out to me. One more thing that I did kind of want to touch on is, as you guys can see, I have parchment paper sitting on two of the um, boards that I'm going to use. That's simply because I can't clean them to my liking because one, I can even show you guys right here. One, just to give you an example, um, has like this wood. You guys have seen this in a few of my other projects that I've done. It's got like a lot of wood and whatnot. So instead of putting food on that for my guests to eat, I just got this parchment paper, cut it into a circle, and then I will confidently put my food on top of that as opposed to, and I did the same thing with another board. You guys, if you've not already seen it, you will. Lastly, to make your table as festive as possible, I had some leftover olive branch leaves that I got from Amazon. Now, this is to make the table look a little bit more inviting, Pinteresty. y'all know how it goes. Um, I was going to use real greenery. I was going to run to Trader Joe's to buy some actual um, live greenery, but I didn't have the time. And I also was like, do I really want to spend the money when I can also just go outside and like pluck something from a bush near me and not spend any money? But then I also thought about it like, then I have to clean it and it's just... Here's what I will say. This decorative piece to make your table look cute as possible is totally optional, whether you go fake or whether you go real. I think that if I was to use a real one, it would look a lot more elevated because natural is always the jam, but I don't feel like doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these. I almost walked away and forgot about some very important items that you're definitely gonna need for your board. And that's little bowls like this that you can put your dips in. I'm also pretty sure I got this from Home Goods and it probably was about $7 and four came in a set. Um, but just to keep it simple, I got these little white ones. I do have a tribal print one in my uh, kitchen, but just so it's basic and cohesive, I just went ahead and used these white ones. One more thing that I think is very important that you should probably already have on hand anyways, is just have some coasters sitting out because if you're gonna be drinking wine, having any other beverages, it's just kind of good to have these coasters somewhere tucked on the table. You guys will see in the footage. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. But okay, now we can go ahead and get into some of the food that I'm personally using for my board. So I think one of the most important things that you should be remembering before I even get into any of this food is to wash your hands while preparing these charcuterie boards. It's very important to make sure your hands are clean. Okay, girl. Okay, that aside, let's get into some of these food items that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the meat. So where I like to get my meat, and I have very specific places that I like to go. I am an actual nut when it comes to this. I love going to Aldi to pick up their pre like sliced i think that these little kits are just coming in so much handy these days and girl don't you dare come for my nails because i already know they messed up um i love having these little deli meats from aldi just already sliced and just ready to go okay let's get into the cheeses now i think that number one the most efficient way that I've noticed to prepare your board is to start with your dishes, obviously, that you're going to use to serve and then move on to the cheeses. So that's tip. That's a pro tip. Start with your cheeses first. Now, 
I went crazy with the cheeses yesterday. Like, I don't, I don't know who I became, <laughs> but I went crazy with the cheese for some reason. Like, I, I needed options, girl. So I ended up picking up from, I believe I got this from Aldi as well, this Gouda cheese. And I like to just have a mixture of softer cheeses, like spreadable cheese, and then the ones that you kind of have to slice. This one is another one that I got from Aldi and it is a roasted garlic with tomato and basil. I only picked this up because it just looked so freaking good. And another thing that I will mention one more time is that, like I said in the beginning, I like to get inspiration from people that I see on the internet. And I just kept seeing, I just, I kept calling it the purple cheese. I didn't know what it was, girl. Um, which is another fun thing about making a charcuterie board is like, you can just introduce yourself to things that you've never tasted before. Um, so I was like, where can I find the purple cheese? And lo and behold, Aldi had the purple cheese for me. And it's, it's not purple cheese, you guys. It is goat cheese with cranberry and cinnamon. So I cannot wait to put this on the board so cool like I was so excited when I found the purple cheese oh it's gonna be legit it's gonna be legit so I got the purple cheese I'm gonna do something really really fun with this since it's already got like that salty and sweet flavor going on with it now this next one please refrain from judging you girl because like I said I tried some of this stuff yesterday and oh my gosh the combination that I tried yesterday of like the chip the, the so freaking good so this next cheese, I actually ended up going inside and these were some cheese curds. They are the um, pepper jack cheese curds. I'm gonna show you, don't mind the duct tape like I told you guys. I got, listen, listen, who are you judging? So this is what the cheese curds look like. These are so good. I plan to crumble these up on the board and just kind of like lay them out. It's gonna look so freaking good. And these right here from Aldi, ain't no joke. You need to run and get those. Um, so then a spreadable cheese that I got, since all of those were relatively hard cheeses, that I picked up this uh, Alouette. <laughs> Alou Alouette? <laughs> Alouette, girl. <laughs> I picked up this garlic and herb spreadable cheese that I plan to just like take out of its little package. It's got like foil in it. Take out of its little package, like throw it on the board stick a little knife in it and call it a day so my girls can enjoy. And let's get into a few of the dips and the jam that I have here. A board is not gonna be complete unless it has dips and jams of some sort. So you guys saw, I had mentioned this. Ooh, and I finally tried it. I mentioned this jelly. It is a strawberry lavender jelly that I ended up getting on my trip to Wisconsin, which again, I just wish I would have vlogged and taken you guys along. But don't you worry, I got some fun vlogs coming up in the future. So what are you doing, girl? Subscribe. <laughs> this was so freaking good. Um, it was so good. It's like, it says it has lavender in it, but if I'm just being honest, it tastes a little bit more cinnamon, cinnamony. So what I intend to do with this is like drizzle a little bit of, a little bit of it on the purple cheese um, and get my life with that and like sit it next to it. I also just think it's so cute. Like aesthetically speaking, come on now. I have a friend, one of the girls that's coming, one of the women that's coming, excuse me. One of my good, good Judy's, she actually put me on to the tzatziki, uh, <laughs> The tzatziki sauce, you know, like when you get a gyro, a gyro, that's what I like to call mine. You know, when you get in a gyro and that, like that white sauce, she put us onto the dip version of it. Now, this isn't the one that she got, but when I saw this also at Aldi, I noticed that it has the spinach and artichoke, which is a personal favorite. Um, but it's also the tzatziki. You guys let me know if I'm saying that wrong. I probably am. Um, so I know that she's a big fan of that. And this is the friend that can barely eat a lot of the fruit and stuff. So like, I really wanted to get stuff that I figured everybody's going to enjoy, even though it's just three of us, you know, I got, I got a whole bunch of stuff I know I'm going to enjoy. But like I said, girl, I might've dipped into these last night. <laughs> Don't judge. But okay. So the grocery store, and this is another thing like, well, well, I'll get into that in a second. So as far as breads or crackers and stuff like that. I didn't go for a loaf of bread. I've seen that in so 
mini charcuterie boards that they kind of use it as garnish and maybe slice up some pieces. I didn't feel like I didn't feel like doing all of that, so I just went to one of my favorite international grocery stores, which is where I got my fruit. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Um, but I just picked these up for the Lolo. This is a garlic and parsley flavor. So I'm gonna spread these out on the board. And then I went to the Dollar Tree, which we'll talk a little bit about. I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday because since I'm only, aside from myself, serving two other people, it just didn't make sense to spend more than a dollar on some crackers, girl. So I went up to the Dollar Tree and I just figured the one that looks most interesting, and they had a couple of options, you guys. I went ahead and went with these Greta crackers. Gre Greta? 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 <laughs> I went ahead and went with these crackers and it looks like they are just made with olive oil and oregano. Um haven't opened them up haven't tried them so this will be a surprise to all of us when i get started but i picked these up for the other items that i got these are kind of miscellaneous this kind of falls into like the dip sort of thing so i picked up this honey which i don't even think is real honey it's a honey flavored syrup that i got from the dollar tree and again this is kind of why i love going to the dollar tree because if it's just two other people that I'm trying to feed, I don't need to get like big bags or anything that's more than a dollar. So I got this sunshine blend um, just to kind of coat the board with, just fill my board up with some other random items. So I got these banana chips. They have cranberry, almond, cashews, which are some of my favorites, and then blueberries. Now, this is one of those items I'm gonna have to put on a separate tray that my friend who's allergic to certain things won't even have to encounter because it's got some stuff she's allergic to but after reading this I'm like oh dang I didn't realize there were blueberries in it so <laughs> I'm gonna have to put this on yeah I'll figure it out you guys will see me figure it out from Target um my other friend who actually I don't know why I'm acting like y'all don't know who she is Devin was in my video with G um if you don't know that video watch and donate um but she loves these dried apricots so I picked up a small bag from Target to garnish the table so that it looks fun. The table, the table, the charcuterie board, the charcuterie board. <laughs> oh y'all, I swear I never know how to talk in these videos. The editing that I do is wild. So anyways, to garnish the table, I already have some chopped up vegetables sitting in the refrigerator. I didn't feel like it was necessary to show you that. Uh, but I have carrots in the refrigerator and I also sliced up some cucumbers this morning. So those are good to go. And I also sliced up some oranges that I'm going to use more so for the garnishment so that they look good. But of course, if someone wants to eat a slice of orange, then that'll just be me and one other person. Um, then we have it as an option. But to also garnish my charcuterie board, um, I saw a lot of people using some fresh rosemary to just sort of sit on top of the cheese. Um, you guys will see me do all of this in the next footage or you guys have been watching me do this throughout this video. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. <laughs> now, it cannot be a successful ladies night if you do not have this one simple item. And that, of course, is a little bit of salt, salt, and drink. It's a little bit of salt, salt, and drink. Um... Most of our ladies' nights definitely consume alki, okay? We are 21 and above. <laughs> and we're 30 and above. So we have real life problems, all right? So <laughs> with that being said, we gotta have a little drink or two. Two videos ago that this is actually a drink that my mother got us, me and my sister, from Cooper's Hawk. And I figured what better time to pop open this sparkling wine. Does that mean it has bubblies in it? Is this? Is that why it's closed up like this? It's got bubbles in it? The world may never know, but we are certainly gonna find out later on tonight. Oh yes, we are. Oh yes, this is what wraps up a successful charcuterie board wine ladies night. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and put this charcuterie board together and I will show you how I like to do that right now.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had fun like I always tend to do. I honestly should have had a drink in my hand when I was filming this, but I didn't, but I didn't. Listen, if you guys found these tips helpful, then please do me a favor and leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, and you know, I mean, it ain't nothing to subscribe. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing to hit that subscribe button, is what I'm trying to tell you. So that actually would be another big favor. As you guys know, I am on my way to a thousand subscribers, which is nothing to a lot of y'all, but it's gonna be something to me, okay? Do you wanna see it happen? hit the subscribe button. Anyways, guys, this is so much fun, like I said. If you guys decide to do this for your friends, then please feel free to show me on Instagram. Just tag me in your post. My Instagram will be linked down below, so you guys can follow that if you want to. But if you decide to recreate this charcuterie board or make one of your own inspired by me, then feel free to tag me in that post. And I would love to see it, you guys. All right, time to really get started because to be honest with you I'm vlogging my entire day and I have to go and now actually prepare and film the second part of this video which is me putting the board together all right, all right.